A little while ago, Qualcomm introduced its latest powerful smartphone processor called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This chip will be used in many top-notch Android phones coming out next year. Samsung is also planning to use a Snapdragon chip in its Galaxy S24 series, but the one they're using is a bit faster than the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The chip expected to be used in the Galaxy S24 series, which will likely be called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, has been found in Geekbench's database. This gives us more information about how it's different from the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chips that other brands will use. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy has one really fast Cortex-X4 CPU core running at 3.4 GHz, 3 Cortex, a 720 CPU cores at 3.15 GHz, 2 Cortex, a 720 CPU cores at 2.96 GHz, and 2 Cortex, a 520 CPU cores at 2.27 GHz. It was also revealed in a previous report that its Adreno 750 GPU runs at 1000 MHz. When we compare the Samsung-exclusive Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy processor to the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, we notice a few differences. The Samsung version has a Cortex-X4 CPU core that's 100 MHz faster, and its Adreno 750 GPU runs 100 MHz faster as well. These higher clock speeds will make the Samsung chip a bit faster for tasks that require short bursts of processing power. However, how well the Galaxy S24 performs over a longer period will also depend on its cooling system. If Samsung uses a substantial heat dissipation system like the one in the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition, the Galaxy S24 could deliver strong performance even during extended usage. Just like the Galaxy S23 series, which had a slightly faster Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chip, with higher CPU and GPU clock speeds, the Galaxy S24 may outperform other Android phones using the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Additionally, Samsung is likely to give the Galaxy S24 series more RAM, with up to 12 gigs for the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus, and even up to 16 gigs for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This extra RAM can contribute to improved performance and multitasking capabilities. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Peace out.